Hi, I am Sheikh Mahbub Basha. Welcome to my channel. Happy learning. My students, welcome. This is ninth class, chapter two, loss of motion. Welcome to period eight. A hammer of mass four hundred gram, moving at thirty meter per second, strikes a nail. The nail stops the hammer in a very short time of zero point zero one second. What is the force of the nail on the hammer? Given data, mass of hammer M is equal to four hundred gram. On conversion into kilograms, it is. 0.4 kg initial velocity of the hammer u is equal to 30 meter per second final velocity of the hammer v is equal to 0 meter per second time of action of force T is equal to zero point zero one second. Acceleration of the hammer A is equal to question mark. Force of nail on the hammer F is equal to question mark. Formula A is equal to V minus U by T. That is nothing but acceleration is equal to rate of change of velocity. Then that is equal to zero minus thirty divided by zero point zero one. That is equal to minus three thousand meter per second square. Formula. F is equal to m a that is equal to zero point four into minus three thousand that is equal to minus twelve hundred newton. Force of nail on the hammer is equal to minus twelve hundred newton. The negative sign indicates that the force of nail. On hammer is opposite to the direction of motion of hammer. It is a retarding force. Three identical blocks, each of mass ten kg, are pulled by a string on a horizontal frictionless surface. If the tension F in the rope is thirty newton, what is the acceleration of each block, and what are tensions in the rope? So this is the given diagram. There are three blocks M one, M two, M three. They are pulled by a force F, and the system of three bodies is moving with an acceleration Y. Given data, m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m3 is equal to 10 kg. Each block of 10 kg means all the three blocks are of same mass, each equal to 10 kg. Then f equal to 30 newton. Force applied is equal to 30 newton. Then acceleration a equal to question mark. Tension in the string. Between M1 and M2 is let us take it as T1 that is equal to question mark and the tension in the string between M2 and M3 let it be T2 that is equal to question mark formula from Newton's second law acceleration is equal to net to force by total mass that is equal to F by M1 plus M2 plus M3. That equal to thirty by ten plus ten plus ten. 
that is equal to 30 by 30 that is equal to 1 meter per second square. Now, T1 is equal to M1 into A. This is according to Newton's second law. Force equal to M, mass into acceleration F equal to MA. Here, the force that is pulling M1 is T1. Mass of a block is M1 and the acceleration of the system is A means each block is having acceleration A. Therefore, T1 is equal to M1 into A. Now, substitute the values. T1 in place of M1, 10 and in place of A, 1. 10 into 1 equal to 10 because it is a force. Tension is also a force. Its unit is Newton. So, T1 equal to 10 Newton. Then, T2 is equal to M1 plus M2 into A. Here, the force T2 is pulling both the blocks, M1 and M2. Therefore, T2 equal to M1 plus M2 into A. Substituting the values, 10 plus 10 into 1, that is equal to 20 Newton. So, we got the acceleration of the system as at 1 meter per second square. Tension T1 equal to 10 Newton and tension T2 equal to 20 Newton. For the system shown in figure, assuming that there is no friction, find the acceleration of the blocks and tension in the string. Take Z is equal to 10 meter per second square. So, this is the block of 3 kg on the table and a string is tied to 3 kg and it is carried over a pulley and on the other end of the string a 2 kg block is suspended. So, this 2 kg block weight is the pulling force here. Okay, let us write the data. Given data, mass of block M1 is equal to 2 kg mass of block M2 equal to 3 kg, acceleration of the system A is equal to question mark, tension T is equal to question mark. Formula A is equal to net force by total mass. This is according to Newton's second law. F equal to MA, A equal to F by M. So, here F means net force, M means total mass of the system. So, acceleration A is equal to net force by total mass that is equal to M1 into G. Here net force pulling the block is a system is the weight of the block M1. So, M1 into G. Net force in place of net force M1 G divided by total mass means here both the blocks M1 and M2 are moving together. So, M1 plus M2. So, substituting the values that is equal to 2 into 10. Mass of block 1 M1 is 2 and acceleration due to gravity g is 10 by in place of m1 write 2 and in place of m2 write 3 that is equal to 20 by 5 that is equal to 4 meter per second square. So this is the acceleration we got 4 meter per second square is the acceleration of this system that means each block then Tension in the string T is equal to M2 into A. So, the tension is pulling the block M2 with an acceleration A. Therefore, T is equal to M2 into A that is equal to 3 into 4 that is equal to 12 Newton. Find the acceleration of body of mass M2 from the figure shown. Take M1 equal to 3 kg, M2 equal to 2 kg and G is equal to 10 meter per second square. So, these are the two diagrams given. In both the diagrams, we need to find the acceleration of uh, the block M2. What is the difference in these two diagrams? In diagram 1, there is a pulling force of 30 Newton and in diagram 2, there is a block suspended whose mass is 
टू के जी सॉरी थ्री के जी एम टू इक्वल टू टू के जी एम वन इक्वल टू थ्री के जी राइट सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ दि फस्ट के इन दि फस्ट के देर इज वन पुलिंग फोर्स दट इज थर्टी न्यूटन इट हेज टू पुल दि ब्लॉक सो इफ यू अप्लाई द थर्टी न्यूटन द ब्लॉक इज मूविंग अप this diagram can be simplified and can be written as shown in the other diagram so there is a block of mass m2 it is pulled by a tension t tension is always equal to 30 newton so 30 newton and tension are equal and opposite so t equal to 30 newton then there is a block whose mass is m2 and there is a force 30 newton pulling it and there is one opposite force which is trying to stop this block that is m to g so let us write a formula so according to newton's second law we can write a f equal to ma or a equal to f by m or acceleration is equal to net to force by total mass acceleration is equal to net to force by total mass that is equal to net to force is 30 minus m to g 30 minus m to g 30 is the pulling force greater force and in the reverse direction there is one force that is m to g so resultant force net to force will be greater force minus weaker force so 30 minus m to g divided by total mass here only one block is there that is the total mass m2 now substituting the values 30 minus 2 into 10 in place of m2 substitute 2 Into in place of g substituted ten, so two into ten divided by two m two value is two. That is equal to thirty minus twenty by two. That is equal to ten divided by two. That is equal to five meter per second square. Right. Now take the second case. Second case. Where a block m1 is hanging instead of 30 newton in the first diagram. So here m1g is the pulling force and m2g is the resisting force, retarding force. So acceleration is equal to net to force by total mass. Acceleration is equal to net to force by total mass. That is equal to net to force means Greater force minus minus the weaker force. So m1 g minus m2 g whole divided by m1 plus m2. Here two blocks are there and their mass are m1 and m2. Therefore total mass means m1 plus m2. Now substitute the values. That is equal to 3 into 10 minus 2 into 10 whole divided by 3 plus 2. That is equal to 30 minus 20 divided by 5. That is equal to 10 by 5. That is equal to 2 meter per second square. So here acceleration is 2 meter per second square, right? A force of 5 newton produces an acceleration of 8 meter per second square on a mass m and an acceleration of 24 meter per second square on a mass m. what would be the acceleration if same force is applied on the combined block made tying m and m together so observe the diagrams in case 1 the block of mass capital m is pushed with a force of 5 newton and the acceleration is 8 meter per second square and in the case 2 the block of mass small m is pushed with a force 5 newton here acceleration is 24 meter per second square and in the case 3 these two blocks capital m and small m are tied together and are pushed with the same force of 5 newton and in this case acceleration is unknown we need to find out this value right then let us take the case 1 applying the newton second law f equal to ma So he because it is a capital M, I have written capital M. Substituting the values five in place of F, eight in place of A, the equation will be five equal to M into eight. Then 
m equal to 5 by 8 kg m equal to 5 by 8 kg then let us take the case 2 again applying the newton second law f is equal to m a substituting the values 5 equal to m into 24 then m is equal to 5 by 24 kg now let us move to the case 3 f equal to m plus m into a here force is f mass is there are two blocks tied together therefore total mass of the system means capital m plus small m into acceleration a f equal to m plus m into a substituting the values 5 in place of f 5 by 8 in place of capital m 5 by 24 in place of capital m into a taking lcm 5 is equal to 15 plus 5 whole divided by 24 into a then that will be equal to 5 equal to 20 by 24 a or a equal to 5 into 24 by 20 on simplification a is equal to 6 meter per second square okay so in case 1 we got the value for capital m equal to 5 by 8 kg and in case 2 we got the value for small m which is equal to 5 by 24 kg and in case 3 we have utilized the values of capital m and small m and hence we got the value of a that is nothing but 6 meter per second square and this is the answer okay right this is all for now we will meet in the next class till then take care thank you